In this problem, we are being asked to give the circumference and the area of a circle, but this time we want the answers to be exact. Most of the time, we use an approximation for pi, uh, maybe 3.14, maybe a few more digits. The reason is that pi goes on forever. It's one of those irrational numbers that the decimal part never ends. So if you were trying to use exact some exact number for pi, you'd, you'd never get to the end of it. When we want to express a, a problem like this in exact numbers, we just use the symbol pi in place of some, any kind of approximation, and we give our answer in what's called in terms of pi. So let me show you how that works. Uh, let's work on the circumference first. We know that the formula for circumference is just pi times the diameter. And you're probably used to putting in the number for the diameter and then some number for pi, 3.14, or some other number. Um, we're going to skip the step about putting the number in for pi. So let's just fill in our diameter. We've got a circle here with a radius of 9 meters, so the diameter is going to be double that, or 18. So the circumference will equal pi times 18. And we're already done. Uh, actually, we're just going to rewrite this with the pi coming second, 18 pi. That's just a convention, the way they write it, like 18x. Uh, but it means the same thing. This is 18 times pi, pi times 18 is the same thing. But that is our exact answer, 18 pi. This is the circumference of a circle. So the units are just plain old, in this case, meters. 18 pi meters. Let's try this for area. Area is pi times the radius squared. So we're going to plug in the, the radius and not plug anything in for pi. So area equals pi times 9 squared, because our radius is 9. 9 squared is 81. So this equals pi times 81. And again, we'll just rewrite that with the pi second. So this is 81 pi. And this is area, so it's meters squared. So these two answers now are exact. Um, they're written in terms of pi, so they have the pi in them. If you wanted to find an approximation, you could use some number, 3.14, or some, some more detailed number to find an approximation. But as these are written, these are exact answers in terms of pi.